so here we are back on the channel with another video as I get my glove on here and this is going to be a quick ride meaning fast not quick as in time wise as I hit that bump there here we go so in this video I just want to generally talk general about the bike and now that I've had it for a little bit I've had it for about 10 11 almost two day two weeks a little less than two weeks now and so far in the amount I've had it and I've ridden 56 miles so far so not a real lot of miles but uh, I'm starting to get a lot more feel of the bike and uh, you get a comfort level with the bike after a while and I'm starting to get that and right now I'm riding by the way in level 9 so the highest level because I wanted to do kind of a faster ride today and uh, so I'm starting to get the feel for the bike um, I'm really liking the seating position that's the first thing I noticed when I first got on the bike, you know, was the seating position and how much I liked it. A combination of the seat and where the handlebars are positioned uh, on the bike, it just gives you that good, uh, good feel. I don't know, just a, just a comfort uh, for me anyway. This is, maybe others won't, wouldn't feel quite the same as I do on it, but uh, comfortably, um, it fits me perfectly. Uh, comfort wise and I just like uh, the smoothness of this bike it, it's so smooth on the takeoff and when you're riding along uh, the motor is, is quiet you would, wouldn't even know really um, or someone else wouldn't even know that you're riding an electric bike other than it looks different than your traditional bike, first of all, with the fat tires. So I don't think they're going to put fat tires on a regular traditional bike. So uh, right away, uh, the seating position and how quiet the motor is. And uh, just an overall smooth, smooth ride. and. And I was not expecting this smooth of a ride, and the reason why is because this bike being a hardtail with no rear suspension, I uh, assumed immediately, you know, that we would be uh, having some rough moments. But um, you know what? If this is what a hardtail is going to feel like, I want it to be feeling like this on every bike that doesn't have a rear suspension because this bike is totally fine for me um, the way it is I I don't even miss the rear suspension I mean if it was there that'd be fine you know I'd be okay with it but like I wouldn't want to give up for example I'll give you an example I wouldn't want to give up my regen braking to get a, a full suspension I'd rather have the regen braking and that's the other thing I was going to mention that I really, really like. I mean, i finding myself using that. At first, uh, uh, when I first got the bike and was riding it a little bit there, at first, I forgot that I had regen braking, you know, and I would use the, uh, the brake levers. But uh, now that I've been riding it a while, I'm getting used to this... Uh, uh, the regen braking now I think I I would miss it you know if I if I don't have that so it's kind of spoiled me already so all I basically need to do is use my 
right thumb for uh, throttle and left thumb to uh, brake. And um, I'm liking that. And as far as acceleration, uh, I should mention here, I've got it in nine. Now let's watch here from a complete stop. I'm gonna turn here right, but let's watch now. I'm gonna full throttle it. And it does go up pretty rapidly as you can see here. It has pretty quick acceleration, I gotta say. But uh, I am gonna be doing in the future another hill test because I think this bike can do better than on my previous video. That was not really a hill test. I just came upon that hill in my ride. You know, it just happened to be there. So uh, it wasn't like I was seeking out hills to do a hill test or anything like that, but it just happened to be there. So it was part of the video at the time. Hello. And so, uh, but I will do a true uh, hill test in the future. I'm kind of waiting a little bit for a little bit warmer weather. And so that will be fair to the bike if it is a, a situation of uh, um, being too cold. I should mention right now on this uh, afternoon ride here that I have a temperature of 45 degrees here and virtually no wind. So not too bad at all. It's an overcast sky. The sun is trying to come out, but it's having a hard time today breaking through the cloud. This is the 16th of February, Thursday afternoon at about three o'clock in the afternoon. So that's when I'm recording this video. So uh, something else that I've noticed, now we got a hill coming up ahead. Let's see what happens on that hill. Because I'm gonna go up to that. But I'm not gonna stop and go up the hill, I'm just gonna ride like I am now. Uh, something else I should mention is, I've noticed that the bike draws from just one battery. Even though, even if you have two batteries turned on, it's only drawing from one battery I assume until that battery loses them and here I am going up the hill and it seems to be going right up that hill it's not the steepest hill in the world but no problem there but yeah the uh, battery and the reason why I know that is because when I went I've had them both running I run both all the time Let's wait for this ambulance to go by. So the reason why I know is that it's only drawing from one battery at a time, and I, for some reason, was assuming that it would draw equally from both batteries, but it's not. And the reason why I know this is because my last ride, after I was done, I charged up the batteries. And I'll charge them up even if they are not too, too far down. I still I like charging them up. And I charged up the one first that's under the seat. And with only one charger, I was doing them one at a time, of course. And then I went to charge the other battery that's down here um, on the down tube and that battery was already fully charged it didn't need charging so that tells me that it's only drawing from the battery first if you have them both on under the seat so on this ride I'm only riding uh, using one battery I've only turned on the one under the seat they're both charged all the way up but since it's only going to draw from one I, I assume the way it's set up is that it'll draw from one until the uh, until that battery is dead or almost dead, I don't know how far down it will let it go, and then I assume the second battery will kick in. 
So at some point in the future here, uh, like, I, like I've been saying about the uh, hill climbing, I'm going to wait for nicer weather though to do uh, more distant rides. And I want to do a, uh, a uh, video on a range. I, I'd like to see how far we get with this. And I want to ride, like to me a comfort ride, comfort speed, on this bike feels good at about 25 miles an hour. So I'd like to do a ride and stay around somewhere in that area, 25 or maybe a little, 25 to 30. And just, uh, you can see right there, I just got up to 35 miles an hour. Uh, right there, so that's fast. So uh, I am going to do another speed test as well because I, on that foggy morning that I went out and did the speed test before, something just wasn't right because I think you get a little more than 33 or 34. So I'd like to do another one of, uh, in that too uh, under a little bit better conditions. But but I do want to do a range test and. Uh, and see what we get and that and I want to do the range test riding kind of quickly I don't want to do like I don't want to be on the on road 20 miles an hour I want to go 25 or more you know kind of like I'm riding right now this seems to be a, a nice speed for this bike if you whip around here at 25 miles an hour that feels pretty good And also coming up in a future video, not too far, uh, hopefully in the future, I'm going to do a few different comparable videos with this bike, uh, the Graffiti and the uh, Grizzly both coming out at the same time. I will get help on those videos and uh, kind of do a side by side ride and and. Uh, <clears throat> But uh, this bike, uh, and I keep saying it, but uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna say it forever, but it's an absolute joy to ride. And I can't wait for some better weather to go farther, because it, I don't know, I just wanna take it for a further ride, but right now I don't go too, too far because of the uh, cold, you know, I don't wanna extend right now. Uh, when we get some nicer weather and plan to do some uh, d further rides and uh, I will definitely do a range test because with the two batteries I can I will do a range test of course killing one battery and then we can just multiply that by two since both batteries are of equal uh, size so we can just double it if it's 25 miles we can say okay we went 50 I don't think we're going to get that far. I think riding it kind of hard, we'll say, because that's what I plan on doing, riding it more in the uh, 25 to uh, 35, maybe in that range, uh, you know, anywhere from 25 to full speed, whatever that's going to give me. Um, I think I'm expecting to get, uh, with two batteries, mind you, I'm expecting to get probably 30 miles. So if I can get uh, 30 miles running uh, both batteries, like of course one at a time, but getting uh, all together a total, like so 15 on battery one and then 15 uh, multiplying that and getting for battery two, you know, 15 and getting 30 miles. I think if I get 30 miles riding it pretty hard, I think that's gonna be, that's gonna be pretty good. So that's what I'm, I'm kind of going for. Anything beyond that will be a bonus, in my opinion. It might, go, it may give me 35 or 40, but I'm thinking if it gives you 30 miles riding it kind of hard, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna wind it out here again if I can one more time.
this is right from a stop basically and look at how quick it picks up it, it does accelerate pretty quickly in nine uh, the one thing you have to do though is every time you're on the bike and I think it's true with most uh, e-bikes you have to uh, manually uh, switch that uh, up to nine because it always defaults back to one too many stop signs to get it going good but I that 35 was pretty good right there when I got that. I didn't have enough room to accelerate any further, but I think we'll do another speed test and uh, I think we're going to hit closer to what they, uh, they say, Lyric says that we're going to get out of the bike. I think we're going to get, I think we can get closer to 38. And we'll go under full charge battery, we'll go under uh, good weather conditions, warm, you know, there'll be no excuse and we'll give it a good go and, uh, and try it. Trying to be on flat. Sometimes it's not easy to find a good flat spot where I am here. Now straight ahead I'm going to do and I'm going to kind of give it a good run here for a minute. I can feel a little bit of a wind now on this one. Going up a little bit of a hill. And here we're getting 33. Thirty-two. And like I say, we are going up a little bit. Speed limit here is 25, so. 25 seems to feel like a pretty good speed on this bike a nice speed you know if you're gonna max out um, you are gonna eat your battery faster but I guess it kind of all comes out the same because you're gonna get to your spot quicker right so it kind of uh, equals out there You know, like they say, go slower, but and you'll go f uh, uh, farther. Well, it takes you longer to get there. So if you go faster, you get there faster. You're going, you're covering more miles. So basically, you're doing the same darn thing. All right. I think I'm just going to pull a UE here. I'm not going to go down there. Okay. Whoa. I was accelerating and then that guy pulled out, but I think with the electric bike, they can't hear you. So, there is that. And they're letting me go. Check it one more time here. Too sharp of a turn there with cars parked. Well, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, hit that notification bell. And if you'd like to purchase a Lyric Graffiti, I do have a link in the description. And there's also a if you click that link there's also a code after you go go uh, hit the link and go to the site uh, type in uh, the code is Oregon e-biker mark that's all one word it'll save you a uh, hundred dollars on the lyric graffiti
So thank you for joining me today on the video. And until next time, take care.